Tired of smoky campfires that never seem to catch? Or worse, fizzle out just when things are getting cozy? Let's fix that. Because today we're diving into the science behind the perfect campfire. One that burns hot, clean and steady all night long. Ever had a fire go out right when you needed it most? Maybe you were cold. Maybe the esmores were half done. Either way, it's the worst. But don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to build a fire like a wilderness pro. And it all starts with the wood. Here's something most people don't realize. Not all wood is created equal. The key? Dry wood. Really dry. Wood with low moisture burns hotter longer and with way less smoke. So what should you look for? Hardwoods like oak, maple, or hickory are dense and slow burning. They're perfect for keeping that fire going for hours. Softwoods like pine or fir, they burn fast and hot but disappear quickly. Great for kindling but not ideal for the long haul. Pro tip, avoid green or freshly cut wood. It's full of water and gives off more steam than flame. Okay, now you've got your fuel, but how you stack it matters just as much. Let's talk structure. Fire needs oxygen. The more efficiently you allow air to flow through your fire, the cleaner and hotter it burns. There are a few classic ways to build your fire. First up, the teepee. Stack small sticks in a cone shape just like it sounds. Great for a quick hot start. Then there's the log cabin. Crisscross layers of logs with kindling in the center. This one's stable and burns for a long time. Perfect for group camping. Finally, the star fire. Picture logs arranged like spokes on a wheel, feeding the fire from the center. Great for controlling the burn and using less wood. Now the big moment, lighting the fire. You could go old school with matches or a lighter, or use modern fire starters. Those wax cubes and magnesium blocks work wonders. Feeling adventurous? Try natural methods like flint and steel or even a bow drill. Just be ready for a workout. Whatever your method, start small. Use dry leaves, twigs, or paper to catch the first flame. Then add pencil-sized sticks. Slowly work up to finger size, then wrist-thick logs. You're building a fire pyramid. Rush it and it'll collapse. But do it right, you've got fire magic. Once it's burning, how do you keep it hot? Control the air. More oxygen equals more heat. You can fan it, shift the logs, or open up the structure to let air flow. Mix with types to manage the heat. Need a quick burst? Throw in some softwood. Want a slow simmer? Stick with hardwood. And yes, you can cook on this baby. Use a camp grill, a hanging tripod, or even just hot coals for roasting. Think smoky potatoes, grilled veggies, or fresh fish. But no fire is complete without a solid safety plan. Always build your fire in a cleared area. Use a fire ring or dig a pit. Keep water or dirt nearby just in case. Never leave it unattended. Seriously, ever. And when you're done, stir the ashes. Douse with water. Stir again. Make sure it's cold and respect the environment. Follow leave no trace principles. Don't damage live trees. And never build a fire where it's banned. Because the perfect campfire isn't just about the flame. It's about the people around it, the memories you make, and the responsibility you carry. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, or just love a good campfire, hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe for more science-backed outdoor tips. Stay warm out there.